there, folks. Good morning. What I'm going to do is make some eggs. We'll make some scrambled eggs here in the large 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker. Now, if you haven't seen this thing before, it comes with this lid, which it doubles. I mean, that's the lid, but it doubles. You know, you can make a Dutch oven out of it, or you can actually cook out of this thing here. It's a great product. Made by the good folks in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. But all I'm going to do is make some eggs. The old lady just went to the market, picked up some fresh eggs. So I'm going to make some scrambled eggs for, uh, oh, damn, did I just bust an egg? Might get it. I hope not. I want to make some uh, eggs for Forrest G. That's some good looking eggs right there. A lot of, a lot of times, see if that'll focus. Focus, focus. A lot of times these eggs are real small. Those are some nice looking eggs right there. Yeah, baby. Okay, baby. Do you realize you're interrupting my world famous cooking show? Okay, folks, so let's see if I can't get these eggs cracked open. I'll just crack them on the end of this thing here, see if we can't get a little tune, a little tune out of this trombone. Oh yeah, look at that. Boom, into the bowl. Didn't spill a drop. So folks, I have discovered a great use for this handle right here. Let's see if you can see it there, the end of that handle on the large 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker. Look at there. You put your little bowl right under it. Look at this. Hold on, let me see if I can get a better angle of the dangle. It's a little bit down there. Put that bowl right like that. Crack your egg right there. Boom, this Man, I just discovered what this thing is for. I thought it was a handle. That ain't no handle. That's an egg cracker right there. Look at that, not one piece of that shell has fallen into that bowl right there. And if, if and if it if it leaks, it leaks down into the bowl from the from the ledge here. Crack it all around. Oh my goodness, folks. I just gave you the hidden secret. The hidden secret here to the large 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker. My goodness. Let me show you one more time. Just an easy crack, crack, crack all around. Open that egg up. Not one piece of shell goes in your bowl. Man. Alright, let me get my fork here. Get the stirring. Alright, folks. So all I'm going to do with these eggs... All I do with my egg, just stir them up, take a fork, just take a fork, stir them eggs a little bit, just get them, get them all good and mixed up there. That's it. That's all you got to do. And you know, I'll put a little salt in there. Oh, damn, tea fell out. I just throw just a pinch, just a pinch of salt. That's all you need in the eggs. I don't put pepper because sometimes the ladies complain about the pepper. But let's see, without further ado, if I can get a tune out of this little trombone. I'm gonna take it at 160 on this little induction cooker. And the, the cast iron, cooks on the induction cooker but it cooks differently than if you're cooking over gas or if you're cooking out there over the coals in the open fire um, this thing works but it's not exactly the ideal piece of equipment I like it because it's portable it's light now the cast iron is obviously not but the, the burner itself I can use this inside a hotel room if I really wanted to or out on the balcony of a hotel or a condo this is portable but what I've discovered is the, the coil in there, it really only heats 
um, maybe 80% of the diameter is that the right word yeah the diameter of the of the pot it doesn't really heat the sides and it doesn't heat the other 20% around it I don't know if you can see that but like just right here is where the heat is and so the heat has a, a longer and a harder time dissipating everywhere else where if you put this thing over a flame this whole thing heats up evenly or if you put it over my charcoal out there I mean the whole thing is hot as hell it's almost like that it's just as hot as that but here as you can see right there it just heats up the 80 percent of the uh of the the bottom of the pan now it works like i said but it don't work as using traditional uh well using gas or other methods to heat it up i just throw a little butter in there and then boom on this put the megs over in there to give them a couple seconds to do the sizzle 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 once they get the sizzle, sizzle, sizzling, I give it some stirs. I turn it down about 120. When I'm making scrambled eggs, I don't. Now I like them to be cooked, but I don't like them to be bone dry. I like to have a little bit of moisture in there. You know, make sure you kill all the bacteria and cook them thoroughly but I don't like my eggs well done like I like all my meat out on the barbecue grill. I leave them not runny but just a little bit moist. And baby if you could please wash that bowl out for me so I can put the eggs in there when they finish. Thank you. Huh? I'll put them on the bowl because they'll be hot baby and I'll put them on the table like that. Thank you for your input though and for Interrupting my award-winning cooking show. Hey, Fourth G. Just comb the comb the baby's hair. It looks looks sharp like a little gentleman. Yeah, so I'm down on 120. Down on 120 on this burner. These eggs are almost done. Ain't nothing stuck. Ain't nothing burned. And you saw what I did. I just used a little bit of. Uh... All right, and that's it. All I did was use a little bit of butter, and, and that's the real butter instead of this fake butter we've been buying. Totally different on the cooking and the taste. And there you go. So they're 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 done. Nothing stuck. And folks, those are just about the right consistency for my taste. What I do, I throw the. The baby shark, baby shark, do, 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 do. and we will drop these eggs into the bowl before they get too done. Look at that! Look at that, folks! Absolutely done and absolutely delicious. Okay, here we go. So easy cleanup on the pan. I got four things of scrambled eggs, just lightly salted with a good butter flavor right there, folks. Gonna be delicious for uh, my crew for breakfast. All right, I'll throw those on the table. That's it, that's how scrambled eggs in the, in the Lodge 3.24 cast iron combo cooker with the special added additional and no extra charge egg cracker that 100% won't mess up your eggshells where they fall in the bowl. And the way that lip is, it's a no, no drip. Folks, you can't beat that. Instead of lodge right there, that should say crack eggs here. All right, so there's a look at my cook station. And this is a look at what all that noise, that chopping noise, was uh, Helen chopping up these... Uh, Vegetables. So what do we got here, baby? We got um, umpalaya. Um, we got eggplant. squash. Eggplant. And what's this right here? Zucchini? No, that's eggplant, eggplant. right? Uh, eggplant, squash, 
and ampalaya. Just gonna make a vegetable medley. Eggs and uh, rice, and some good old ketchup to go on the eggs for Forrest G. Because his father's a redneck, and we rednecks eat ketchup on scrambled eggs. That's just what we do. Here's Forrest G. Got him a shower, got his hair parted. All right, folks, let me show you what I'm gonna be having for breakfast. Oh, this is my breakfast right here. Breakfast of champions. Fire me up a Heineken. Uh, I think my opener's in my office or outside. That's gonna be my breakfast, and then I'm saddling up, going walk about. Today's Saturday, my yard leave day.